Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook by Dr. Robert O.A. Sams is a practical marriage manual which seeks to foster successful relationships by isolating the key factors that contribute to the success or failure of the marriage experience. Dr. Sams selected 10 key factors ferreting out the main issues that affected his marriages. To his deceased wife Pamela for 48 years and his present wife Petula, and reviewing the findings of some prominent relationship professionals. This book focuses on the tension between pit and paradise, revealing which issues lead relationships to the pit and which lead to paradise. Dr. Sams is a marriage and family educator conducting marriage family seminars since 2005. Using Christian principles, Dr. Robert and his wife Petula Sams, also a certified marriage enrichment facilitator, conduct a marriage ministry. They also conduct a family series that focuses on youth, men, women, and seniors. Dr. Robert O.A. Sams, author of Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook, 10 Ways to Ensure and Restore Marital Happiness, Pit, or Paradise, along with his wife, Petula Sams, joining us on This Week in America. Thank you very much, Rick. We appreciate it. So much to talk about. Petula, you're welcome. A pleasure to have both of you here in your perspective and the way that you've been able to help so many people over the years. Let's start with the reason, Doctor. You started writing the book, Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook. What was the reason that spurred you on to write this book? Well, first of all, let me thank you, Rick, for the opportunity to share this with your vast audience. You're welcome. Yes, indeed. What happened was that this did not happen overnight. It was not a sudden reaction. And I thank you so much for the introduction. I think you you helped me a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but I just want to say for myself that it was, it came out of the crucible of more than a decade, I would say a decade and a half or so of live experiences as well as serious research. And so at this point, I can say clearly, I think we have come up with the very best possible guide to lead families and and couples, I would say in general, to a very, very great future if they follow the principles that have been laid out. You've done an excellent job with this, receiving excellent reviews. Petula, is part of the reason for that, you think that the key word that Dr. Sam used, Sam's used their experience, unlike so many books where you've got people talking and they really don't have that firsthand knowledge, you do. Is that why this book is doing so well? Why this series is doing so well? Because these are personal experiences. Yes, I believe so. Because you could only write from what you have experienced yourself, your life, and also what you have helped others in their marriage experience. So we believe that putting your personal experience in writing, it gives everybody else an opportunity to see that they are not alone, that they also have the opportunity to uh, to improve their life, improve their marriage. And so by reading these books and and doing the exercises, it brings them back to the time when they themselves were single, they were looking, they were mingling, they found someone, they got married. And then as life unfolds and the pitfalls come, at least you have a book that you can go back and read and see where you went wrong and how you can turn that around and make your marriage more meaningful and happy and fulfilled. That's a great, great point because this is not just something you'll read once, put on the bookshelf and and not refer to it. It's one that you can refer to multiple times. And Dr. Sams, let me ask you about the the workbook part of it. This is really good because we, we get to participate, don't we? It's not just reading something. You ask us to contribute to it as well. And I think that adds to the success. Thanks for asking that because the, as I said before, the book didn't happen overnight. We started this book um, with, with the idea of doing seminars. 
And that, that was with my former wife, my wife, the wife of my youth, Pamela, Dr. Pamela Sams. And um, when we decided to launch into this program, she decided that she wanted to work out some exercises that would help couples to understand more fully what the principles are that we are laying out in those very 10 basic strategies. So when she passed away and untimely, it was a great loss. I was led to meet with Petula, beautiful young lady, of a kind of a different um, era for me. Nevertheless, when she came on board, she was eager and anxious to learn the principles as well. And she told me something that's rather interesting. She said, this book should be placed beside the Bible, everyone's bedside. Exactly. exactly. Interesting. Exactly. Well, that is so important. And the book we're talking about, if you're just joining us, is Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook by Robert O.A. Sams with us on the program today, along with his wife, Petula Sams. We're talking about what's in the book, why this book is so important. And doctor, I'll ask you if the if someone said, okay, what's the main purpose of this? Why did you write this book? What do you hope the reader takes away when it's done? What is the main purpose, would you say? Hope you don't mind me um giving a little bit of background first. No, please do. It will take a little bit of time. I'll do it as quickly as possible, nevertheless, because we have time constraints. But what happened was, I, when I got married, the first decade or so, it was just perfect. And everything went so well. But suddenly, things changed. And then it launched me into the next two decades of struggle. And... Um, we, we loved each other, we worked together perfectly, but there were issues that were arising that we didn't understand. And so it happened that I heard at about the same time, because I am a marriage, was a marriage counselor, pastoral marriage counselor and marriage officer. So I was conscious of what was going on, but I wasn't able to understand the dynamics of what was happening with the changes that were taking place. What really happened was, when I came to the knowledge of it, is that it wasn't us. It was that the era had changed dramatically. May I just illustrate it quickly? It's like, I have yes. a brother who passed away now, but he was an engineer, trained in England. And I watched him, he was trained in the late 60s, early 70s, and I watched him do an excellent job with automobiles. He could pull them apart, put them back together. But I watched when the changes came in the automobile industry. They started to introduce computers and more technical engines. And he never went back to school. So he was struggling until he finally gave up <laughs> on the new automobiles. Yep, yes. So that's what happened to marriage. Marriage had spent millennia in one system and within 12 years, it changed dramatically. In fact, it came out in the, um, in the divorces in 12 years between 1966 and 1978, divorces increased by 100%. So my book was when I tackled it, I decided to look at my own marriage, what was happening, then I understood the dynamics and I was able to do research to coordinate with what my experiences were, and I put them together. Hence, we have paradigms of marriage, 10 ways to ensure and restore marital happiness, and I illustrate it by pit and paradise. And it's interesting, the book, by the way, available wherever books are sold. I'll direct you to Dr. Sam's website, very simple, doctor, and spell it out, Robert Sam's, S-A-M-M-S dot com. Link on our website will take you directly there. You'll find it at pageturner.us as well, book available wherever. And again, from the website, you'll get information, Dr. Sam's website, order it there as well. Petula, this book really is different, isn't it? Talk a little bit about what makes this unique. And just in listening to you talk for the last uh, 10 minutes here, both of you, about the, the various aspects that you bring to the book. There really aren't a lot of books like this on the marketplace, are there? No. And the reason for that is 
when we decided, when Robert decided to write the book, it was just not words only, but we incorporated pictures also. So you had a, um, a feel for what was coming in the book. So for example, pain and pleasure, you will see that there's a picture of a happy couple and then you'll see the picture of them not being so happy. Yes. And so you had an idea at the beginning what you were going to read. And that was purposeful because we wanted not only uh, for reading purposes, but also when you catch the eye, when the eye sees something, it remembers. It's the mirror to, uh, your, yes. to your soul. So you don't just see uh, you don't just read, but you see and you understand. Uh, I know lots of books have pictures and so forth, but our book, want, we wanted this book to represent everyone. So when you look at the pages, you found yourself there. You would see something that will be common to what you're going through. And also, the book is very easy to read. You, It's very... You, it's it's so wonderful to read and it's so smooth when it's reading when you're reading it that you remember what you read it's it's even a five-year-old or a ten-year-old would be able to read a line a sentence a paragraph and understand exactly what it is that we're trying to say so we made it easy for everyone to have the possibility even a teenager to read it and to understand. It really is easy to read, and I like that because so many books, uh, they come up with clinical jargon, and you're not real sure what they're talking about, and they're trying to act like, okay, they're a little smarter than we are. I'm going to use a few big words here, rather than just getting to the point and emphasizing what you're trying to say, and you do that so well. The book is Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook, and that's the key is with the Companion Workbook. Uh, doctor, you're a marriage uh, educator. How is that different than marriage counseling? Is there a difference between the two? Absolutely a difference. Yes. Now, I spent decades as a marriage counselor. So when I discovered what was happening in marriage, then I realized that counseling is good, but it had left the whole profession behind simply because the basic strategies that made marriage in the previous system called the hierarchical system to succeed were the very basic principles that were no wrecking marriages. That may sound contradictory, but that's the key to my writing. In other words, the earlier marriage system had communication, compatibility, and compromise. And as a clergyman, I used to preach that to the young people. You have to be compatible. You have to learn how to communicate with your spouse. And you have to compromise when you have issues. Those are the three issues that now are creating havoc with the current mar marriage system. In other words, the transition went from hierarchical system of marriage to a new model called partnership or companionship marriage. And that's where the key comes in, because this new system requires education. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't have the basic understanding of how to deal with it, in other words, if you are not a person who has excellent um, skills in negotiating, you'd be left in a struggle. In other words, all hell would break loose in that relationship sooner or later. So I thought that education was more preferable than counseling. Nothing is wrong with counseling, but counseling could solve a problem for you when you have a problem, you go to your minister, go to counseling officer, but education creates concepts in your mind that when the problems come, the next problem come and the next one around the corner, you would be equipped to deal with them. I love that the way that when I think about that education educator has a, a more benign meaning, I think, than marriage counseling. Like you said, sort of education is the root of finding all of these issues and dealing through them. 
The book is Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook by Dr. Robert O. A. Sams, Ph.D., with us on the program is Petula Sams. She uh, works with him in, in counseling, uh, works with him with the workshops, works with him in the book. Uh, Petula, I'll ask you about this. The, I, I love the way the book is laid out as well. Ten chapters with workbook sections. Talk about that. You mentioned pleasure in pain. Talk about the way it's laid out because it really addresses all the major issues or certainly most of the major issues that uh, come into marriage. Well, first of all, when you get married, you get married because you're happy. You want to be happy. You want to have a fulfilled life. And you want to be married to a partner that would bring out the best in you. And so what happened is when we wrote this book, it's sort of like a ladder. And so with that ladder, you climb each step and each step. And so it helps you along the way until you get to the ladder number 10, for example, spirituality. So that means that it combines everything in the whole family, starting out that you love each other, you find each other, you get married and you form a family. And then from there, everything broadens. And so the book is like a continuation of your life. And then it comes to the part where everything just laid out for you. And all you have to do is when you have a problem, just go to the section of the book that pertains to what you're going through. And then the paradigm tells you from the pit or the tipping point or pleasure, it tells you where exactly you are and what you need to do to get out of the pit back into happiness. So that's why the book is written the way it is, in a form of a lifestyle, starting out and then growing and maturing and then broadening your understanding of your life and your purpose of being in this marriage, having a family, what is next? And how can I get help when I need the help? The book is there. It's like the Bible. Whenever you're feeling lonely or you feel discouraged, you just find a chapter in the book that pertains to your problem that you're going through right now. And the book of Psalms, you will find from happiness to everything you want in the book of Psalms. Or if you want the book of Solomon, where you find marital bliss. So the same thing with the companion work um, work part of the book is that you read and then after right. you do the exercise. the exercise yes it's a, a book, and by the way, it's available wherever books are sold, Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook, a link on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. The doctor's website is drrobertsams.com. Doctor, you talked before about sort of this, uh, we see changes constantly in our society. In dealing with younger people and their concept of marriage, do you see a, a generational divide in how we attack marriage, my generation and, uh, and younger people? Well, anyone who is old, younger than 50, did not really experience the former marriage model. They hear about it just like we hear about World War II. Yes. We know it's a serious thing and uh, many people died and so on. But we, we, we are not there to, un to experience it. We can only read about it. So the hierarchical system though, for me, was that I got married right at the end when the new system was being introduced. So by 1980, it had been fully installed. So anybody who is getting married today would have to face, whether they like it or not, the new system of marriage model. It means it's companionship model, no more a one vote system. In the previous system, there was father, husband, mother, wife, and children in that order. And the society embraced that and protected that. But when all the guardrails were removed, all of a sudden, those of us who were, who were married under the old system found ourselves in this new system. And we were like, 
That's what happened to my marriage. We were <laughs> thrown like to the yes. wolves in a rage or in a raging storm. So anybody getting married today must understand that they have to have knowledge to cope with this system. And the, in the book, I point out that um, you have to have learn negotiation and accommodation, not compromise. Because compromise in the system today will only create more problems. So a winning and losing situation and, and the couple will not accommodate that. So you have to learn to negotiate and accommodate. That's one of the 10 keys is accommodation. The 10 keys yeah. laid yeah. out uh, with the illustrations and laid out so well. Uh, Petula, time is going by so quickly, but I would like to talk about this. One of the concepts of themes you talk about is marriages don't just happen. They really have to be built. Talk about that. Sometimes you get involved in marriage and you think this will just sort of evolve and happen. It really doesn't work that way in real life, does it? No, it doesn't. You know that song, All You Need Is Love? Yes. Well, that is the greatest fallacy <laughs> that I've ever heard. It's a beautiful song. I love it. The melody, everything, the wordings. But in reality, that is not the case. That's maybe the and foundation, but it's not the whole story there. No, not at all. And so it's like preparing for an exam. You know, some people cram the night before. And then they go into the exam and they wonder why is it that they can't remember anything. And so this marital life that you are living right now is that it's a growing experience. Does it make sense what I'm yeah, saying Exactly, to you? exactly, yes. Yes. So as you are growing and maturing and learning and finding out. Yes, you need skills to have uh, Exactly. Yes. And if you don't have those skills, you'll crash and burn. I'm so sorry. Love is beautiful, but that's not all you need. You need <laughs> skills, you need education. <laughs> The love is just one of the elements, a building block. Oh, and again, well, so it start, that's how it starts off. I see someone, I find them attractive. And so, you know, the butterflies in your stomach yes. and you can't think, you can't breathe, you can't eat you know and so but that passes in time and so knowledge never fails so it helps to have that knowledge and it's so nice when you mention that it's not like you study for an exam it's not like you buy this book you read it you hope you can memorize it you put the book away and you never refer to it again this is really ongoing in a relationship isn't it the oh, book is yes. there the valuable resources are there forever forever I don't know if we have the time, but I certainly like to tell you the real purpose of the book. Sure, please. And the basis on which it was built. Now, I wanted a way after I did all this research and went through my own experience looking at the good and the bad and so on. I wanted a way to be able to convey this to readers. And I did it first in my seminars for quite a few years. And then I decided that maybe the best way to do this is to place those 10 key strategies, basis of marriage, on a pattern. And I call that pattern paradigm. Paradigm is a pattern. So it's based upon the one concept. And that concept is one word. And that one word is happiness. So the, the reason that I came up with that was that Aristotle once said that happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life, the whole aim and end of human existence, which means, if he is right, that everything in life we do is for happiness. Mm -hmm. And those who are Christians may find the corollary in uh, Psalms chapter 16 and verse 11, where God promises happiness. Now, this happiness is not a feeling. It's a sense of being so that you are caught up in a being of happiness. And that's what I try to capture in the paradigms, to lay it down how you can achieve this happiness. So in the paradigm, you start out, 
you know, like we say, honeymoon, mm -hmm. and you're no, away okay. up yes. here enjoying all the sweets of it. And then, but you have to come down to earth. And when you come back down, in the problems we are having in the society today with this new system, you can start to drift towards one end, which leads you into the pit, and they're struggling like they have been. When I started, my uh, divorces were 52% with another 40% of troubled marriages, so only about 7% were really enjoying the experience. But my uh, idea then to lay it down on this paradigm, lay each, each of those principles on the paradigm is to lead the, cup, the reader or the couple how to reach success, and I call it paradise. And so I experienced that with my former wife, once we, I learned those principles, we went right towards paradise. And here's a beautiful young lady I got 11 years ago, and we had our struggles and issues, but we applied those principles and we are moving towards paradise. Now, if that's not correct, you can say for yourself. <laughs> She's smiling and agreeing. So paradise is the destination. You've been there for a long time and continue to stay there. That's the, your new home in, in paradise. The book is, is so well done. The book is Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook, 10 Ways to Ensure and Restore Marital Happiness, Pit or Paradise. The author, Dr. Robert O.A. Sams, our guest on the program, a marriage family educator, conducting marriage and family seminars since 2005. And also with us, his guest, Petula, uh, the, the, his wife and co-author, trained as a certified marriage facilitator to assist in, in the workshops to the, the books that uh, the doctor has written. The time has gone by so quickly. So much more we can talk about. Hopefully we can do part two, maybe part three as well. So much more to talk about there. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. The website for Dr. Sam's is Dr. Spell it out. Robert Sams, S A M M S dot com. Links on our website, This Week in America dot US. Uh, Dr. Petula, thank you so much for being with us on the program. Thank you, Rick. Thank for the you. privilege. It was an honor. It's been a pleasure to have you here. And once again, the book, Paradigms of Marriage with Companion Workbook. You'll find it wherever books are sold. The website, drrobertsams.com. You can order it there. And of course, from our website, This Week in America dot US. Back on today's program, right after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.